the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to my basic correction, and the cool thing about Premiere that I really love is the WB selector. This is your white balance selector tool. So you take your white balance selector tool here, and you want to click on the brightest point. That did not work for me. Maybe this one right here. So it's a very subtle shift in this clip, which is totally fine. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my curves. And this is where I'm primarily going to be uh, for the majority of fixing the white balance in these clips. Um, I find that the curves are a lot easier to navigate. So you can also do this in Final Cut Pro as well with their built-in RGB curves and Hue vs. Sat curves as well. So I'm going to come down here to Hue vs. Sat and then I'm gonna take my eyedropper and I'm gonna highlight this yellow. Immediately we have some keyframes down here and I'm just gonna pull down the orange. And as you can see, we are getting that orange removed from the clip and the yellows. And right here, I feel like is a good spot because we can dial that back even further with our RGB curves. So I'm gonna come down to my reds and I'm gonna be working in the mid-tones here and I'm gonna pull this back. So I'm gonna to go to my blues and then I'm just gonna lift that up just a bit. It's just a very subtle, subtle change here. Um, and then yeah, I think that is <laughs> from this clip to this clip, I mean, we've pretty much shifted the entire mood just by doing this, just by changing the white balance and getting that correct. Um, so this is such a crucial step in adjusting your white balance and making sure that you know, even all location that you are, you are changing your white balance to accommodate for the lighting. If you're indoors, like this situation, we were still a little bit warm with our temperature. We should have dialed this down to at least 32, 3200. Um, I don't even know what we were at, but yeah, as you can see, honestly, looking at it from the change perspective, once you see what the result is here, looking at this, you're like, whoa, like, I can't believe that that's what I saw on the wedding day. And I thought that that looked good. Things happen on a wedding day, you're moving fast. These are just things to be thinking of. White balance is such an important part of making sure that you have a clean and true image on the day. And so really it's just rinse, repeat on all of these clips. Um, especially for this one, you can come down to your curves, hue versus sat, highlight the wall here where it's the most yellow. Uh, I'm gonna dial this down. Bring down the reds and the mids, the greens. I don't think we really need to mess with the greens here. Uh, and then for the blues, just kind of push this uh, up a bit. Uh, and then if you need to, uh, like I said before, you kind of mess with exposure, get that correct. And then here, before, after, not bad. Apply the LUT. And then this one was probably the more complicated one because we have we have so much yellow going on in the background, but also I didn't want to take away from the skin tones, and this is such an iconic moment for any wedding film, is seeing the bride walk down the aisle. So this is a shot that you want to get right. So if you take your white balance selector, um, and right away you see that it just crushes the blues right here. So I don't really want that extreme, um, but right there that looks pretty good. So then I'm gonna come down here to my curves, hue versus sat, take my eyedropper tool here, highlight the walls, and we have our keyframes here, and I'm just gonna pull this down. And that is making just a huge difference already. Right there, I think that looks good. I don't think we need to mess with it anymore. Before, after, uh, and then, yeah, we are good. We can add a little bit more contrast if we want. And then that is just a good looking clip from that to this, which is just absolutely insane. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful or valuable in some way, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Until next time, keep creating and telling beautiful stories. Peace.